Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to a, another episode of my Past Lives series where I get the message of the Past Lives information that wants to come through and we let it ride. So this particular episode, we are talking about extraterrestrial lives and other lives that pertain to non-human lives um, or earthly lives and past life regression or meditation and the things that we can see um, that relate to other lifetimes that we live. So this was just coming forward today to talk about how we can see extraterrestrial lives and things like it um, and how that relates to what's going on within our current life. Now, the reason why that I wanted to bring this forward today was because a lot of people are seeing their extraterrestrial lives within the past life regressions or meditations that I conduct or lead. And this isn't just for me, this is actually happening for other practitioners as well. And people are starting to connect to their multidimensionality um, in their future lives, if you wanna call it that. And many of you watching this, probably all of you watching this, actually have these connections that you are tuning into at this particular time. And so you're seeking information that would help awaken more of those memories. And I wanted to give you my personal experience with it because I wanted you to kind of put your own pieces together and see what might feel right for you or how you can kind of start conducting what your own information that is coming forward for you and to help other people. So if you like this information, please like and subscribe. Um, I would love to hear from you. I love it when people comment on here. It's really good to know that this content does help people and that they are connecting with it. So I would love to hear from you. And I love to uh, sending love to all the new people that have been um, subscribing recently. I see you. I do check it. So I appreciate you for that. So I'm going to start with talking about how um, I was giving regressions and I was noticing that multiple regressions that I would work with were pulling forward extraterrestrial lifetimes. And when I'm doing a regression, I'm asking the person open-ended questions. So I'm not directing it. I'm asking what they see or what it looks like. What are the colors? What does your body look like? You know, do you have a body? This kind of stuff. So when I ask those questions, I'm not the one that's telling them what to see. They are telling me what they are experiencing. And by that point, they're usually into the deeper meditative state to a certain level that allows them to trust the information that they're seeing. And I, and I guide people and I say, just trust and go with it. Don't judge it. Don't analyze it. Let whatever comes forward, come forward. So that way you can get the best information because no matter what you're seeing in those visions, even if you're in a meditation, you're actually seeing information that is particularly important for you. The details are very important. So the one that's coming forward for me right now is when a client was beginning to see his body and he was explaining that he only had three fingers and they were really long. And he was also explaining the, um, the suit or the, I was like, what are you wearing on your body? And he was explaining how it didn't have like the same kind of cloth material that we were having. It almost looked like a skin suit, but it was definitely something that they were wearing. So they were explaining all the details. I'm like, are you wearing something on your head? You know, some, some people are describing there's crystals that are imprinted within the forehead and the skin. And they would explain how it would how it would look, you know, and I have my own experiences in meditations and in past life work where I've seen certain things like this, but I'm primarily going to give you information from what clients have reported and what they are seeing and why this information is coming forward now. So some clients are seeing themselves within that extraterrestrial life and they're seeing that of why they're here now. They're seeing maybe that they were on a ship at, at one point and there were all these extraterrestrial beings that look all kinds of different types of bodies or ET races, if you will, and they all decided that they would come into the earth for a mission. Um, sometimes people are seeing a love connection that they share with someone within this life, but in another extraterrestrial reality. 
Some people are much more of the um, Aries energy or the, you know, the, the battle or the, the fighters in this, in, this, in this world. And they're going to see that maybe um, in another reality, in an extraterrestrial reality, that they were a warrior or part of an army. I've had different versions of that uh, many times. So everything is going to be uh, basically what it needs to be for you or for the person coming forward. So it's like, well, why are we seeing this? Why is that information coming forward? Why are clients experiencing extraterrestrial lives more than ever? Um, and that is because that is the frequency energy that we are grounding here on the planet at this time. And the more people awaken to their multidimensionality into their extraterrestrial lives or interdimensional lives, and they begin to understand their soul's history, why they're here, the more that they can fulfill their mission and their purpose here on earth. And everybody has a mission. Some people say that some people are just fillers and whatever. I'm like, but even that energy has a journey that it needs to move on. So I believe that we are all here experiencing what we are meant to experience at the time and we can make conscious decisions to move in directions that will best serve our soul and what we are meant to learn what we wanted to come here for so many people are grounding this new information um in their lives and they're like wait i never even considered i was a, that this was even a real thing or that extraterrestrials were you know real i don't even like things that deal with that but they're seeing their energetic imprint, their soul signature for why they are here now. So if you are watching this, I can bet that many of you are feeling that either have experienced your extraterrestrial lives or a glimpse or a flash or an energy, maybe even in your house, because they do come into your space to work on you while you're sleeping, to bring you healing, um, to do really cool things. Sometimes they're doing stuff on your head when you start feeling random tingles or work being done. Uh, well, just because you can't see them doesn't mean that they're not doing the work. So these extraterrestrial beings and these lives that you're experiencing are you in a different dimension, a different density of consciousness. So you can be experiencing yourself helping yourself. You can, in a past life regression, you can be seeing your extraterrestrial life and you can be receiving information from that lifetime that's awakening the codes within you now so that you can do the job that you came here to do. Because when we come here to this earth, this might be new information for some of you, might be old information for some of you. When we come into this earth, we aren't meant to remember our intergalactic history and where we come from, where what we do. We're meant to forget it. We're meant to go through the journey of the human experience so that we can understand how to change it and how to bring the light in. For if we don't fully understand the human experience and we come in just willy-nilly, like I know what's going on, we can't actually change anything without understanding it from the inside. And that goes for everything. We cannot make change in this world if we aren't in this world and, and doing it and, and in, in part of the framework. People talk about the matrix and it's like, well, we can't shift the matrix by taking ourselves out of it. We have to be a part of it. We have to be in the bloodstream of it. We have to take that energy that we are here to ground and bring it into the framework to create that shift and change. For that is the only way we are going to make change. Doesn't that feel good? Feels good to me. Feels good to know that we come in from a higher frequency of light, a higher conscious awareness where love is the vibration where we know that love actually transforms and transmutes the darkness, but also where we know that the darkness is important to understand contrast, but to understand that without the shadow, that darkness, we cannot make conscious choices. 
So it feels really good to have that universal awareness to come in. And the life that we're experiencing and the trials and tribulations and everything that we must encounter are part of that remembrance. I was meant for myself to experience some really difficult times when I was a kid. I was meant to see how humans would treat each other, how kids that were once my friends would treat me. I was meant to feel the pain of what takes place around the world. I was meant to be hurt because I was meant to heal. And so are you. And as we move through those experiences, we gain so much beautiful strength. We fortify our skin. We rebuild our hearts from forgetfulness to remembrance because we knew that we could. And before we even came into this planet, we said, I'm going in, it's gonna be tough. There's gonna be challenges, but it's going to be exhilarating. It's going to be absolutely incredible. And I will remember who I am at my core essence. And when I have a hard time, there will be these beautiful souls around me that have agreed to come in with me to support that journey. It is all a part of the journey. And many people think, well, why am I just remembering this now? I'm at this age and now I'm understanding like that I'm an extraterrestrial or light being or energy from another world. And I wish that I would have known this so many years ago. And I wish that I had these people around so that they could, you know, I could feel like a part of something but that's not how it was supposed to be. It is exactly how it was supposed to be. Our soul has a record that is meant to go through a specific um, divine order so that we can fully understand the process of our own soul's journey. And if it happens too soon, you will have rushed it and you will not learn the lessons that you are meant to learn. That's why when people are rushing, Think about the highway or the on the road. People are rushing and they're like this. Mm, I'm going to get around. I'm being a jerk off. And then all of a sudden you're like right next to them or you're right in back of them. And you're like, you literally went to cut me off so you could just stop at the light with me. <laughs> I actually love those moments because I still drive just nice and slowly. And I'm like, see, you brought yourself out of alignment. Could have caused yourself an accident because you're rushing divine order. But when we allow the process of our life to unfold, when it's time, when the student is ready, right? The teacher appears, when we are ready and our frequency and our vibration reaches the level to welcome and introduce and receive that information, it will come. And this is why so many are receiving information about their extraterrestrial lives within past life connections. Because the frequency level that we have attained, the level of love that we have been welcoming into our life and available to receive is vibrating with the frequencies of those lives that are of unconditional love. And you hear a lot of people talk about shifting from the 3D to the 5D, right? Well, that 5D is of love. And we're shifting into that unconditionally loving space. And it's absolutely wonderful. And so the more that we do that, the more that we are able to have contact experiences with our past lives, with our extraterrestrial counterparts that aren't limited to this physical dimension and are able to come and visit us from a higher frequency band without the physical limitations. And we are basically meeting ourselves. So these beings that come to you are you. And we can rest within the trust of that. People are often afraid of connecting with lower frequency extraterrestrial beings. And while I will have to say that anything we are met with is a mirror reflection of us. Anything that we experience is what we are meant to learn about us. So if we have something that creates a fear trigger within us, we must go, what is going on with me? 
that I am having this experience? What is this teaching me about me? And the answer will come. You are in control. Nothing can harm you. You are the creator. So if you are met with a challenging situation and an extraterrestrial comes to you and you're like, Ugh. remember, I got this. I'm in control. I've had many a being <laughs> come to me. Many. And, I'm, and sometimes it's like interesting. And sometimes they look human-esque. And sometimes they don't. And it's kind of like, and you can feel their energy field too. And I'm like, are we, are we chill? Are we good? And I'll ask the question and I'll get a sensation in my heart of love. And it is affirmed that this is a beautiful being that I can trust. And sometimes when there's a negative encounter, I say, only thank you for being here, but there's only unconditional love and light welcome around me. Only unconditionally loving beings are welcome in my field and to connect and communicate with me. But what am I to learn about this situation? Because everything is meant for us to learn. All right? So when it comes to these past life connections with your extraterrestrial selves, there's nothing to be fearful of. Only things to learn from. I had one girl that I did a regression on, such a lovely human being. And she, in her last life that we brought her into, began to see uh, something she wasn't ready for. She was definitely ready for it. She had just had fear around it. She saw a rep reptilian being. And she had some fear around it because she didn't want to see that. Yet, there was nothing wrong with this reptilian being. This reptilian being was actually an explorer who explored new worlds or new places in the galaxy. It was just an explorer, part of a team that would go out. They just happened to have a reptilian body. And so she had fear around herself. She doesn't have that anymore because she realized that it was her and that her soul signature is of light and what she's meant to do. So there's nothing to worry about. And we hear a lot about reptilian consciousness. I want to kind of differentiate between reptilian consciousness and reptilian beings. There are all kinds of beings in all kinds of star systems, okay? It's kind of like if you were from New York and you relocated to California. You're still a New Yorker, you just live in California, okay? It's kind of like that. You could also go to other countries. Well, think about that micro on the macro, okay? So you can go to other star systems and be a reptilian being in the Pleiades, okay? So you can, be, you can, re, you can bilocate, you can relocate. Um, and so there's nothing to necessarily fear with that. You, I have many reptilian guides. I have seen them. They are beautiful and amazing. But I'm not carrying a reptilian consciousness of fear, control, all that stuff that we tend to hear about. So we want to make sure that we don't lump in a, a, a being of a reptilian being or what we consider to look like or a dragon being with this idea of malevolence because it is not the case. Most everything that is working with you is of the light and helping the ascension of the planet. Okay, so you can trust in that. Trust in that. The majority of everything that's going to connect, it's like one, it's like a rare one-off that might do that. And then again, that comes down to discernment, okay? So remember, in all relation to past lives, though, it is all uh, a version of us. It is all a version of us teaching us about why we're here right now. And we are here to instill those light frequencies in this planet to help the planet ascend, to clear the traumas, the belief systems, the old paradigms from this old belief, this, this bracket of time, of linear time that we have been experiencing. And that's why we're here to help clear that pattern, to help clear those frequencies. Because we are moving into a new age and we are creating the bridge to do so. I appreciate you all for this beautiful encounter. Sorry, light shows up all around when I do this, so I end up looking at where the light fragments start popping off at. I appreciate you all. 
I love you all. Please like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And I would love to hear from you. And that signal, that leaf blower is my signal to go. I'll see you guys later. Bye.